Hello. What we'd like to show you today is to look at the Excel 2013 map preview. Or if you will, we're looking at the power view. As you can see at the top here, we're on the insert in Excel 2013. One of the options is to use power view for reporting and information generation. So as we click Power View, Reports, we are presented with a dialog box where we can create a new Power Sheet or add data to our existing one. What we're going to look at is to create a new sheet. We'll walk you through the entire process. To begin with, you're presented a screen And I just got rid of everything so that it's totally blank screen here. What we will want to do is we're going to add into our power view or drag into our power view city state and have the Excel 2013 go out to Bing Maps and map the data that we have. So I'll select the map icon here. It builds and creates in our Power View worksheet a map that it found of the data that we have from our fictitious prospect database for the state of Michigan. As you can see, I'm panning and zooming into the data by using my mouse. Let's add a title here quickly. Prospect, prospective students in Michigan. This data is from our January through June collection from those that were interested in our program. As you can see, it mapped the data, but we want more than just those maps. We've inserted the city state information but what we'd like to do in our map is to add for example for the size to grab and use uh, and let's use uh, web uh, visits how many web page visits did they have so let's select that and we can place it here or I'm going to remove that for a second and go to the number of web pages visited. And in the uh, now I'm doing that backwards. What I wanted to do is to put that specialization and drag that into the color. Then. For the size, I want to grab the number of web page visited and place that into here. Notice for numeric fields such as the numeric web page visited, we can do sum of everyone in that city, averages, counts, mins, or max. Notice then in the view, we've created pie charts and the pie charts are of our specialization by number of web page visited so we've grabbed two elements and then just so that we can look at it some more let's filter by the education status and put that into our filter area See if it'll take it. We want to add education into our filter area. And notice along the filter area here, you can see the various education background of the individuals that have applied. The number that have just a bachelor's degree up through PH3 degree. 
One of the other interesting things that we can work on as well is we can build multiple maps. So let's take for our horizontal along the bottom here to the individual that's applying work in the library. So let's scan down to the information we have, works in library, and put it on our horizontal. And what you can see is that we've now built a no and yes. We'll continue on just so that you get the idea of the power and let's build the vertical by gender. So we're starting to develop and let's just scan for those that have applied that have a PhD. And let's close that out so we can see it. And as you're looking at the data, what you start to see is various, for example, on those that work into the library, either female or male, the out state very much is interested in the information management specialization. Perhaps working in a library, academic or public, has shown them that they need more technology for their patrons. Maybe they need more technology to help generate insights. Here, let's open up our filter again and get just the bachelor's degrees. And as you can see, we have a distribution of those bachelor's degrees here as well. What we'll be looking at then is we can zoom in and find additional information or insight. As we continue and look at that, Notice, for example, on number of web pages visited, we have a slider bar where we can slide the information and build a greater than, less than. Hence, changing our graphs and changing the number uh, displayed. Slide back. That provides additional insight as well. So what we're looking at here is using the map capability in Excel 2013. All data is live and hot so that I could change the presentation to a bar chart instantly, to a column chart instantly, Perhaps another type of chart like a uh, pie chart, instantly, or slide back to the map. And the data is live. It presents everything that we have at the moment. Hopefully you've enjoyed this overview of Excel 2013, specifically the PowerView feature. Thank you for watching.